beautiful. Can we have a moment for this to look? Can I have you come right here a little bit? Yes, you look beautiful. Okay, you're booked and blessed. Last week, you were taking somebody's man or you was kissing somebody's man on BMF. We have the new season, the sixth and final season of Snowfall dropping. You have such a beautiful story. You're also helping people, helping young actors and other actors get their big break. How are you feeling tonight, just with everything that you have going on? I feel just grateful and blessed, just like you said. And this has been a childhood dream. Ever since I was little, I knew this is what I wanted to do. So be able to be in Hollywood, at, on a red carpet, on a show that I'm on, like, it's just, God is, that's it, that's it. Okay, what can you tease for us with Black for Snowfall? this season what are you up to tell us because you be you be I, I like you be on your bad girl stuff i like it you be on your bad girl stuff but you'd be about your business i love it you know this season uh snowfall fans can expect anything to happen it's the final season nobody is safe don't look over your shoulder we don't know uh, with with louis with jerome with, with franklin anything can happen so i can i guarantee fans will be on the edge of their seat starting with the first episode of this season okay we can't wait um, what are you going to miss about the show? Obviously, it's coming to an end. I'm sure you guys have already wrapped, so talk to us a little bit about where you're going to miss. I think what I'll miss most is just the camaraderie between the cast and just the fun we have. Like, every single cast and crew member takes the show seriously. That We have a good time, and we're passing on the legacy of, you know, John Singleton, so just... I think as artists, you build these relationships whenever you do a project, whether it's one episode or six seasons. I've been on the show three seasons now, and it's just always sad to see something come to an end. And then closing the book on that character is always kind of like, I'll never, you know, Black Diamond's going to be, you know, lay to rest. So, yeah, that's what I'll miss most. When one door closes, another one opens. And as I said, you're book to bless. You're also on BMF, which I love. Can't wait to see more Mabel in action. But talk to us a little bit, Chris briefly about your work that you do for actors and what inspired you to want to start your Hollywood bound um, actors program speak to us a little bit about that. well I was come at least I, when I was in LA the first time I was struggling you know I, I knew I was talented but I had no agent I had no guidance and I just promised myself that I wanted to be the coach that I wish I had so I believe in lifting as I climb I I believe in an abundance I work in an abundant mindset. I'm a student of law of attraction. So it doesn't hurt me to give you a tip. I want to see everybody win. So my clients, whether they're 30 or 70 years old, when they're on TV and they, they took a tip that I gave them and it worked, it just warms my heart. And I'm, that is the, I'm blessed to be a blessing. So I created Hollywood Bound Actors as a way to just encourage people through our podcast, our Facebook community, because this is a lonely road. Listen, Christine, I'm no actor, but I'm in the mix of this Hollywood life, and it ain't no beat. It ain't no joke. Yeah, and the power of community, just knowing, hey, I see you, and hey, if I could, this work for me, and just tell you, hey, this maybe it'll work for you, you try it. And that has just blessed me in so many ways, and I believe we can all win. There's enough for us all, period. Everybody needs that mindset. You're also a, a career, a life coach and career coach. What advice would you share with people that are watching this who are in the thick of it on their own journeys? They're like stuck or they don't know which way to go. The phone stopped ringing. No work is coming in. What advice would you give those creatives that are watching? The biggest piece of advice I would say is to go within. My career and my life shifted when I really delved deep into personal development. So getting to know you and not seeking external validation from the world. Of course, we're in this industry and there's a lot of that. But the more you get to know yourself and you have validation in yourself, and get a hobby. Do some. Go go hike. Do some yoga. Go to church. I'm serious because when you are 100% obsessed with this career, and you can't think of anything else outside of it, it can be very stifling, and then it's all consuming. So please, like, truly get a life. And I mean that in the most kindest way. I had to learn that lesson, especially here in Hollywood. First, Christine Black on Snowfall, sixth and final season, Mabel on BMF. Girl, we're watching you. We love to see it. Beautiful brown queen. Congratulations on everything. Thank you so much. Congratulations to you. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you.